Now this is the uh, the uh, 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 almost Americanos section of the museum, and if you see, they have uh, uh, human remains from uh, Peru all the way to uh, present-day United States of America. So this is uh, Peru in the Atlantic, Peru Atlantic. They got cutting tools. These people were extremely advanced, no difference than any European at the time. They have a quiver with blow gun. That is actually a blow gun. That's Amazonia. This is the northern Amazon, like Brazil, Venezuela, Colombia. And this is, uh, to me, the most important of all is the, uh, the Amazona Centrale, or the center of Amazonia. They're still there. They, they haven't gone away. They, they're finding new tribes all the time. This is the Armadillo. Armadillos, they are uh, everywhere in the United States of America now. They migrated north. The Nanomami. That is uh, Brazil, Venezuela, Colombia, part of Argentina. And this is uh, United States of America. They, they try to say they are, they are different people, but they're not. They are not different people. For example, this right here, the, this is metal work. This metal work, uh, is from the 1800s. This is, this is learned not by the Anglo-Saxons, by they were learned by the, uh, the Iberians, the Iberians, the, uh, the Spaniards, 400 years before the Anglo-Saxons arrived. But today, the Anglo-Saxons want you to believe that these people, these people are, um, how can I say, uh, civilized, that they civilize it, that they arrive into, um, into the Americas and civilize it. But the reality is when Coster went all the way into Wyoming and fought the little big horn, these people, they already have metal work, weapons, a uh, way of navigation, the horse, very important, the horse, tobacco, Tobacco is not from the United States of America or any place in northern uh, 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 part or geography of the, uh, the American continent, but it's from the uh, Caribbean islands. So these people were already have plenty contact with the Europeans, in this case the Spaniards. So they spoke Castilian, their own languages, and spoke Castilian. This is a sw swastika. The swastika does not belong to Hitler. It belongs to the world. And to me, that is a shame. They are a symbol that's being utilized forever. Now it's a symbol of uh, evil. And actually, it's not. This is the deer. A quiver made out of deer. This is a uh, axe, a stone hammer. So yeah, these people, they are second to none. They always been here. And they go all the way into Alaska, in the United States of America. It's all the same biology, all the same people. Of course, they adapt to different uh, environments.
This is what they were, made out of uh, uh, seal le leather. And this is a kayak, a true kayak. Now this kayak has been collapsed because it's an original kayak, but I've seen a, uh, a copy, a real copy, working copy of a kayak like this in the uh, United States, in Washington, in the Native American Museum. And that, that kayak is, is completely, uh, how can I say, functional. And you can actually sit in it and it's extremely light. All this construction is just, just leather. It's just very light, extremely light. You can pick up uh, the, uh, uh, the kayak with the, your, your hands, with one hand. Well, I better stop here because I'm running out of batteries.